everyone. I am Nandini Gupta, a pre-final year student at Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. Today, I am going to present on a topic, Smart Home Automation using Internet of Things for the course, Applied Instrumentation. Now, let us first talk about I IoT. IoT is a network of interconnected devices embedded with sensors, actuators and software that enable them to collect and exchange data. In the context of smart home automation, IoT facilitates the communication and coordination between various devices and systems, allowing for seamless integration and automation. It is clear that without hardware component foundation of the smart home, the software, middleware and the cloud platform won't matter as it's the physical devices that make the home automation system work, gathering data and putting scenarios into action. Now, let's take an overview of sensors, actuators, and transducers. So, what are sensors? Sensors are the devices that detect and measure physical properties or changes in the environment and convert them into electrical signals. So, what are actuators? These are the mechanisms responsible for converting electrical signals or commands from the smart home system into physical actions and movements. Moving towards the transducers, these are the devices capable of converting one form of energy or physical quantity into another. What's the importance of sensors, actuators and transducers in smart home automation? Sensors enable the smart home system to perceive and understand its environment by collecting data on various parameters such as temperature, motion, light, humidity and gas levels. So what the actuators do? Actuators translate the decisions made by the smart home system into tangible actions allowing for automated control over devices and appliances. And these are the transducers which bridge the gap between sensors and actuators, ensuring seamless communication and integration within the smart home ecosystem. Let's have a look on sensors. Generally, sensors are considered as the eyes and ears of smart home. Various examples are Motion sensors. Motion sensors detect movement within their field of view, triggering actions such as turning on lights, adjusting thermostats, or sending security alerts. Second one is light sensors. These sensors adjust artificial lighting based on natural light level, reducing energy consumption and optimizing ambience. Moving on to water leak sensors, these are the sensors which detect leaks in plumbing systems to prevent water damage. Another one is CO2 sensors. These sensors monitor indoor air quality, triggering ventilation or air purifiers as needed. Continuing with various types of sensors, the other one is temperature sensor. This measures the ambient temperature of the surroundings. Its various types and names are DHT22, digital humidity and temperature sensor. Other one is LM35, precision centigrade temperature sensor. These sensors have various applications. Some of them are, they are used in thermostats, climate control systems, and HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning units to regulate temperature settings based on user preferences and environmental conditions. The other one is humidity sensors. These are the sensors which measure the moisture content or relative humidity in the air. Its various types and names include, DHT22 digital humidity and temperature sensor and the other one is soil moisture sensor. These sensors also have the various applications. Some of them include incorporated into climate control systems, greenhouse automation and irrigation systems to maintain optimal humidity levels for plant growth, comfort and health. Now let us talk about actuators. If sensors are the eyes and ears of your smart home, then actuators are its hands. They are the ones responsible for controlling temperature and water supply, executing predefined scenarios and altering the state of the home based on your preferences and settings. In fact, actuators are IoT home devices that convert digital or electrical signals into physical actions or changes in the environment. There are various type of actuators. Some of them are written on the screen. First one is relay modules. 
These modules in home automation facilitate remote control of electrical devices by acting as switches, allowing users to turn applications on or off remotely, enhancing convenience and energy efficiency. Second one is servo motors. These are used in home automation for precise control of mechanisms like automated blinds, robotic arms and smart locks, offering accurate angular position control and efficient operation. Third one is solenoid valves. These are used in home automation to control the flow of liquids within system like irrigation, water faucets, and gas control, allowing for automated operation and regulation of water or gas flow based on predetermined conditions or user commands. Fourth one is DC motors. These are used in home automation for tasks such as opening and closing curtains, blinds, and windows as well as controlling the movement of robotic appliances and smart locks. Last one is stepper motors. These are also used in home automation for precise control of movements, such as opening and closing blinds or curtains and for positioning mechanisms in devices like 3D printers and automated doors. As we know, the other important thing in smart home automation is transducers. Transducers play a crucial role in smart home automation ecosystem by facilitating the conversion of one form of energy or physical quantity into another, enabling seamless communication and integration between sensors and actuators. There are various types of transducers. Some of them which are used in home automation are pressure transducers. Pressure transducers in home automation are used to monitor and regulate water pressure in plumbing systems and detect changes in air pressure for HVAC systems, ensuring efficient and safe operation of household utilities. Second one is position transducers. These are used in home automation to monitor and control the position of various devices and mechanisms, such as monitorized curtains, smart door locks, or automated gate systems, enabling precise and automated adjustments based on user preferences or environmental conditions. Third one is acceleration transducers. These are used to detect sudden movements or change in acceleration, enabling features such as fault detection in smart security systems or adjusting settings based on the movement of variable devices. Fourth one is velocity transducers. These can be used for monitoring the speed of moving objects or components, enabling applications such as automated blinds or curtains that adjust the speed based on user preferences or environmental conditions. Last one is force transducers, which are used to measure forces exerted on objects, enabling applications such as smart weighing scales and robotic grippers for precise and monitoring of mechanical interactions within the household. Now let's talk about the integration of sensors, actuators and transducers in smart home systems. First of all, the data collection by sensors. Sensors continuously monitor various environmental parameters such as temperature, motion, light, humidity and pressure. They collect data from the surroundings and convert physical phenomena into electrical signals for processing. The second thing is data processing and decision making. The collected data is transmitted to the central control unit or smart home hub for analysis and decision making. Algorithms and logic implemented within the system analyze the data to infer the current state of the environment and determine appropriate actions or responses. The third thing is activation of actuators by control signals. Actuators receive control signals and translate them into physical actions or adjustments, thereby affecting changes in the home environment. The fourth thing is feedback loop and adaptive control. Smart home systems often incorporate feedback mechanisms to validate the effectiveness of actions taken. Feedback from sensors and user inputs is used to refine control strategies and adapt to changing environmental conditions over time. The last thing is real-time monitoring and remote control. Users can remotely monitor and control their smart home systems using mobile applications or web interfaces. Now let's talk about one of the application of smart home automation, smart locks, enhancing security and convenience. 
Most of the smart locks are typically equipped with wireless connectivity options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or others. These capabilities give them the ability to communicate seamlessly with other smart home IoT devices and the vast expanse of the internet. As a result, as long as the lock stays connected, users can still remotely lock and unlock doors, check the lock status and receive alerts if there are any unauthorized access attempts. Smart locks are designed to work reliably even when there is no internet connection or if the smartphone apps are temporarily unavailable. Most smart locks still have a traditional keyhole, so users can use a physical key to unlock the door if there is a power outage or network failure. Some other smart locks have a pin code panel for gaining access. RFID is one of the most commonly used methods of authentication. You can present RFI-based key fobs or access cards to the lock for entry. A lot of locks come with a fingerprint scanner already built in, which allows for user identification and access authorization. Bluetooth smart home devices such as Smart Lock have the capability to directly communicate with a smartphone that has been paired with it, even in situations where internet connectivity is not accessible. Now let's have a look on the examples of smart home automation applications. First one is Smart Thermostat. Temperature sensors regulate heating and cooling systems. Other one is security systems. Motion sensors detect instructions, activating alarms. Third one is smart lighting. Light sensors adjust brightness based on natural light. Fourth one is automated irrigation. Soil moisture sensors trigger watering systems when needed. Other one is home entertainment. Remote controlled actuators adjust curtain blinds and screens. These are some of the applications of smart home automations. There are various other applications also. These are some of the top IoT use cases in home automation. Security systems, doors, temperature control, gardens, home routines, safety sensors and many more. Let's have a look on challenges and future trends in smart home automation. First one is data privacy and security. Protecting sensitive information through encryption and secure communication protocols is too crucial. Interoperability. Sanitization of protocols, example Zigbee, Z-Wave, enhances compatibility among devices. Third one is integration with AI. Utilizing AI for predictive analytics and personalized experiences requires overcoming technical hurdles. Fourth one is energy efficiency. Balancing convenience with sustainability through energy management systems and eco-friendly solutions. The last and most important one is user experience. Enhancing usability and accessibility with intuitive interfaces and adaptive technologies. Coming to the conclusion of this video, let's have a look on some important conclusions. Smart home automation revolutionizes living spaces offering convenience and efficiency. Users gain control over environments, adjusting settings remotely for comfort and productivity. Advancement technologies like AI optimize energy usage and create personalized experiences. Collaboration and innovation drive the evolution of smart home solutions. Future trends like 5G and Internet of Things promise further advancements. Addressing challenges ensures inclusive, sustainable smart home ecosystems. Thank you for your attention to my presentation on smart home automation using Internet of Things. I hope you find the information insightful and inspiring for embracing the possibilities of connected living. Together, let's shape a smarter, more efficient and comfortable future for our homes. Thank you.